Caleb Evans gives it off to Josh Johnson in the game for the first time. He's on his way inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown! Josh Johnson on his first carry of 2019 takes it from midfield to the end zone. Lynn Josh, a player of the ULM, brought on as a summer transfer. Didn't get to see him until August camp. Came into camp a little bit overweight. Got himself going in shape. Rush for 632 yards. He threw for nearly 2,000. And a nice determined run out to All near right, midfield. DeAndre Hoags, the outside linebacker, the second leading returning tackler for Grambling from a year ago with 57, finally rode Evans down that midfield. First and 10 for the Warhawks. Ball game. A stutter move results in a first down to the 30, breaking outside of the 25, and a very good run on short yardage situation. Isaiah Phillips showing that shiftiness. We told you he was a shaker, and you saw some of it right there. Yeah, he's a home run guy. That's the way that Coach Viator described him earlier this week. Gets out in the open field and can really, really go. Really, really go. This throw out to Xavier Brown, and Xavier Brown gets to the end zone. He was tight roping the sideline on the right side, and the official has ruled him in. Blazers, but in the end, UAB on top, 24 to 19. Second and 10, and that play is blown up in the backfield. Kevin Dominique ran right into Ty Shelby. Just no place to go. The Warhawks had that one sniffed out in the second quarter on a hot, humid night in Monroe, Louisiana. Hickbottom throws it. Picked off at the 40. Middle linebacker Chase Day returns it across midfield. And now a penalty marker is down. Day read that play perfectly, stayed in position, and made the catch. The Evans numbers now nine completions on 12 attempts, 95 yards, and this time the ball on the ground. Austin Vaughn, the bus, moves a few people out of the way on a strong run. Vaughn that's finally. good enough for a first down. The line of scrimmage, Josh Johnson has returned to the, start, to the lineup. The throw over the middle, into the hands of the receiver for a first down, leaning to the 20 is Xavier Brown. Evans with a quick release, right on target, a bullseye to Xavier Brown. This attempt by Meeks, he has missed from 35. This one appears true, and it is. So that moves the ULM lead to 17-6 with 76 seconds remaining. Yard, that gives him 26 carries, uh, 26 yards on eight carries tonight. Half of that came on one tote in the first half. And the reverse coming to the left side is McCray. McCray turns the corner. McCray pulling away at the 40. McCray is dragged down 10 or 12 yards deep into Grambling territory. And he's also the punt returner for the Grambling Tigers. So ULM with a chance here. The throw inside at the 15, caught to the 10, to the 5, to the 4, to the 3, as Brandon uh, Batiste made a nice move, the junior from Roanoke, Louisiana. Lining up on the fourth and one. Vaughn takes the handoff, goes left side for the score. It took four plays, make it five plays to score from down near the goal line, but it's Austin Vaughn on fourth and less than a yard who powers his way to the end zone. The result the same in the end, even though it took a few more plays than they had hoped after the penalty, but it is Vaughn getting into the end zone and increasing ULM's lead. Bird here, it needs to get to the 21-yard line on fourth down. Hickbottom fakes, looks, has time. Now he'll run. He lunges forward. He dives. It did not appear that he's got it. The middle linebacker, Chase Day, was in his way. 
Now a pair of backs join Hickbottom. One goes in motion and nothing there on the attempt on the right side by Jakari Nichols. It was 28 catches. Quentin Dice had 22. Nothing there at the line of scrimmage. He, actually a loss of a yard. That one plugged up pretty quickly. Rashad Harding, a backup middle linebacker, right there to take care of Nichols. Warhawks with Johnson in the backfield along with Evans start at their own three-yard line. This is Johnson. He burst through at the 10. Got a first down at the 20 and runs all the way across the 30-yard line as he started up the far hash mark and then angled to the sideline and they'll mark him down at about the 29. Yeah, Keaton Fontenot finally gets an angle on him, forcing the runner out of bounds, although I think you put your head down and go a little further, probably gain another three or four yards, but opting to get out of bounds and live to fight another day. That's a gain of about 25 on the play and another plunge up the middle and another good result for Josh Johnson. Fields, the safety tackled him, but a 10-yard plus run for Johnson. So two runs from the three-yard line have moved the ball all the way out to the 41. Isaiah Phillips is in the game at the tailback position. The throw goes outside, caught for a first down and some more. Xavier Brown weaving his way across the 40, and he's knocked down near the 37-yard line. But the hookup on third down between Evans and Brown extends the drive. Well done and good to see Brown and what he's been able to do tonight. Now with five catches for 50 yards and the score. Remember, he had surgery in the offseason between 2017 and 18. Then here and play full strength in his final season of college football. Josh Johnson on his way to the end zone, makes a nice cut, and he has scored again. Josh Johnson with two long touchdown runs, and he has been really good out of the backfield for the Warhawks. A new addition to this team. Did not see him until fall camp, and ULM coaches loving him as part of this ball club. So 148 yards, and two touchdowns and as we mentioned came into fall camp with some question marks and has turned all those into exclamation points tonight. Hickbottom faked and now is running for his life as he drew three defenders led by Chase Day the middle linebacker who's had a nice game including an interception. Look at the pressure as Chase Day was there to clean it up grambling there's a nice tackle at the line of scrimmage as Chase Day saw it coming and took down Jakari Nichols. Hickbottom fakes. He looks. He zings it over the middle. It is incomplete. And so Grambling knocks on the door but can't step through as Rashad Harding was able to swat it away. The score remains 31-9, 10-22 remaining in the fourth quarter. ULM leading in its opener. 